The Cocoa Board is a necessary program with the Markham District to assist cocoa farmers in the area. More than 30,000 seedlings of cocoa are sprouting from this nursery, and this will greatly increase the production of cocoa in Markham Valley. The Cocoa Board says they are in talks with the member for CRC, Mao Jeming, and other MPs to work in partnership to grow the cocoa industry in the physical region. We are now working with the districts. We are also having partnerships with the districts. We are now uh, having a, a nursery program in Markham Valley with the uh, uh, Makam District uh, uh, JDP BPC, which uh, is a kina for kina. They are putting up uh, one million kina. Cocoa Board is putting up one million kina, which is two million. And Earlier this week, the Cocoa Board and the Morobe Provincial Government partnered with the local shipping company to transport cocoa bags from coastal villages into Leh. The partnership aims at encouraging local cocoa farmers to be more productive and produce high-quality cocoa beans for the world market. The cocoa board will also be distributing to farmers clone materials which are tolerant to the cocoa port borer. Cocoa and Coconut Research Institute has developed 18 clones which can withstand uh, CPB. So uh, that is the only uh, material we are uh, propagating and using in all the districts that we are working with. So. Yes, we, we are uh, not only talking about uh, moving cocoa to the market, we are also doing planting. But Other provinces like East New Britain have also ventured into similar programs within their LLGs and indigenous land groups. With more funding given to training of local farmers and distribution of clone materials, PNG will be able to increase its production of high-quality beans for the world market. Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay.